Um, I think obviously it's a great project. I've got my own foundation which wants to support and, and, and change the children's lives as well. And um, obviously going up around the corner from there, um, can't get more local than that. So it's a great project which um, you know is going to change a lot of kids' lives. You know, sport and, and, and through education and wanting them to learn and maybe think about university as they get older. How important do you think it is for people like yourselves, footballers, to get involved with things like this? Yeah, I think very important. I think we're very fortunate to do what we something we love for a living, and um, you know, sometimes it's nice and sometimes it's not that you get a profile by playing football. And, um, you have to use that for for good, I think, and, and for you to be able to do that is pretty special. And, and just me being involved with this project, if I can change one person's life and, and maybe you know whether it's give them that encouragement to, to maybe take up sport or, or extracurricular activities or you know try that bit harder at school and, and, and maybe even think about going to university if i can just help one kid improve their life then that's a job done how do you feel about affecting something so close to home yeah again great um you know i've been out of yorkshire for too long now really it's nice, it's nice to come back and uh, like say how local this is to where i grew up and um, still a Leeds fan, still check the scores, and I um, mean, you know, have to represent the, the White Rose, the other side of the, the uh, Pennines every day, and, and, and <laughs> make people aware of that. So, um, to be able, like I said, to, to help kids in Manchester as well, but obviously in, in, in Leeds is special, and it's you know where you grew up. And I was lucky to have a great upbringing, upbringing here, and, and, and lucky enough to play for Leeds United as well. So, that's obviously special to me, and um, to be able to be involved in a project as good as this in Leeds is, is fantastic. Children look for inspiration when they're growing up. Who inspired you? Yeah, um, probably Alan Smith, actually. Um, you know, obviously my mum and dad um, did a lot for me growing up and many hours taking me to Thorpe Arch where Leeds train three times a week and standing in the rain and hail watching us train and the hours they put in. But um, I think Alan Smith, from a football point of view, of he came through the academy, he did what all us in the academy wanted to do and, and proved that. If we worked hard enough, it could happen for us, and, and he got his chance and, and made the step up to the first team. And he was the example for us to then kick on and show it could be done. And um, from a football point of view, I would have said him. What do you make it situation at Leeds? Um, yeah, I mean it's disappointing. I'd like to, well, I would like to see him in the Premiership definitely, um, but then I'd have to play against him twice a year, so <laughs> that's that's the downside. But uh, yeah, new manager obviously now, and uh, hopefully he can turn the fortunes and and get them on an upward spiral again because it's obviously a fantastic club and um, a club that deserves better probably. Great. Is that good? Thank you very much. Thank you.